In the holiday shopping season, it's going to be tougher to find a parking spot. Yeah, and police are seeing a spike now in people illegally using handicap placards to get that spot right near the store. So tonight, the I team's Ryan Kath caught some drivers in the act. We're out doing handicap parking enforcement today. Could I take a look at your placard, please? Can I take a quick peek? Thank you very much. Waltham police officer Bob Williams knows all the telltale signs. Face down on the dash, there is a Yankee Candle air freshener blocking the expiration date. I can see 7-1, but I can't see the, the year, which is most important. Hey, if I could take a look at your placard, please. It's my husband. He's still in the store. Okay, very Listen good. as this driver is caught in a lie. So he'll be out in a second, though. I hope so. All right. All right. I'm going to call them... Uh, He's not here. He's not here. Well, where is he? He's home. He just had a kidney. Okay, but you just said he was in the back. I'm sorry. Why are you using your husband's if he's not here? The woman didn't have a good explanation. What about someone who needs this spot? I'm not on TV. Can I just take a peek? Shoppers who depend on the placards. Just doing handicap parking enforcement today. I think that's wonderful. Excited to see the crackdown. The abuse is really upsetting. In Waltham, police have busted 7,300 drivers for illegal handicap parking since targeting the problem in 2010. He's going to get a $200 ticket for expired placket. Down in Fall River, police have also made it a priority, writing 4,300 tickets in the past three years. You're kind of hoping you don't find any. But Officer John Riley found this guy. This is over a year and a half old. Using a temporary placard that expired in July 2014. Why do you keep using the one that's expired? I don't know. I'm waiting for the other one to come in. We checked and found out he tried to get a placard last March, but the state rejected his request. Those are just accumulation of the last uh, three years. They've all expired. His placard now gets so, added to this stack at the police station. Yeah, uh, that's the real ex expiration date, but they put that over. One here, this is the homemade one. Officer Riley figured drivers would start getting the message, but the pile keeps growing. Another lady who told me her father was in the store when he was, in fact, deceased. There's really no excuse. If you're not handicapped, there's no reason whatsoever you should be parked in the handicapped spot. You understand that he has to be here with you. Back in Waltham, this woman told us she's a caregiver and her elderly client left while she shopped at Costco. You think that sounds a little hard to believe? It's hard, but, I mean, what can I say? Fine for that is $505. Safe to say Officer Williams wasn't buying it either. Because I'll be honest with you, ma'am, I don't believe you. Tough enforcement appreciated by drivers who truly need the parking spots. That's really disgraceful. They ought to be fined. They ought to be put in jail. For the I-Team, Ryan Kath, WBZ News. You get coal in your stocking for that. Yes, not a do. good move. Santa's not happy. Uh -uh. Ruin